Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. It's Myasia Simone. Fly Guy DC, Hot at Night. We are here with YFG Fat. So, how you feeling? Uh, I'm chilling today. You chilling? Yeah, you real? I'm in a good mood, though. I'm yeah, you real calm, real laid back, all the way from Chicago. Like, just talk about what your journey has been growing up there, because, you know, we hear all the crazy things about it, but you uh, seem well. It's crazy. Everything y'all hear be true, probably. Everything y'all hear <laughs> about is. the city be true. Uh, the journey really, like, is more so just. You gotta put in work for it. So mm-hmm. it's really about like your work ethic with it. Yeah. So it's different for everybody. Now but. you told me beforehand that you've been doing music for about five years. Yeah. And then I also saw that you said you got your name from at one point you were fat. Yeah. <laughs> so talk about how you got that nickname that translated into your musical journey and then, you know, like you doing music for five years leading up to now. Cause you're only seventeen. Like yeah. you're so young. Uh the name was really just stuck already. It yeah. Was already fast up. So I just <laughs> rolled with it. And just put my gang tag in front of it. Yeah. Put our clan tag in front of it. And I was just rocking out with that. And then for five years, like what what inspired you to get started? Like uh my brother was rapping. So he's oh and he's older, obviously. Yeah. So you like used to watch him? Uh not no more. I be more on my show. Okay. But I, I definitely listen to all the music, of course. But It'd be like, we was younger, he was bigger than me. Yeah, so, so it was like, it was something that it got you started, but then yeah. you started to find your own. Now, how would you describe your style? Because I think, like, the biggest thing when you're coming into the game is you have to think about what you're going to do to separate yourself from everybody else. So how would you describe your style? Uh, I got more things to talk about than I can. I don't really just be repeating the same thing mm-hmm. or talking about the same thing or something. I got a lot of different topics and a lot of different songs. It's so crazy because I think on Instagram, you're probably at, what, 40,000 or something like that? But you get so yeah. many different, like, you have millions of views on TikTok. And, that's my like, new page. Oh, that's your, your new page has what? It's 60,000. 60,000. But yeah. still, you still got millions of streams. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, how does it feel to be able to reach the masses of the people? And you're just like, I, I feel like you're just getting started. I feel like you're a baby in the game. You know, like, yeah. how does it feel to reach that? Uh... Feel good. It ain't normal, so well, it's normal for the people that's in that lane, but mm. from where I came from, it's not. So, and you're not buying it, right? Nah, <laughs> I don't do all that. You don't do all that. I ain't going that, far. <laughs> I ain't that serious. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I'm a big fan of being organic too. Like, if yeah. I got forty thousand, that's what I got. But I'm gonna have forty thousand authentic. You know, I have more followers than that. Or like, sixty thousand. Yeah, nah, I had like uh. one hundred and sixty thousand. You lost your page? Yeah. What? I lost my Instagram. What'd you do? I don't even like talking about it. It's <laughs> stupid, for real. <laughs> so it is your fault? Yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't but... it for real. Oh. I ain't tripping about it. I know that I lost it because of me. Yeah. I ain't but you're building it back up, and that's all that matters. Um, So how would you, you know, what's your message to your fans? Because you do have a lot of people who are looking at you, watching you. They want you to blow. They're supporting you. They're getting behind you. I mean, even your team is amazing. Like, what what do you want to tell your fans right now? Uh, for the ones rapping, stay consistent. So the ones who not just keep doing whatever you're doing. Yeah. But you got to be consistent doing it, though. How do you feel about the state of uh, hip-hop right now? Because, I mean, I feel like we're in a weird place. If we're trying to find new music. Uh, people just feel like it's not that much talent out there. Or if it is, we, we can't find them. Like, how do you feel about the state of hip-hop? A lot of people don't really care about music. It ain't really about music. It's just about money. Really? Yeah. You're teaching me something new. So, So you think that. You get your followers based on your image and not your actual sound or your music. Both. Both. Like, okay. The fans care, mm-hmm. depending on who they are. Some people really don't care. They just want to say so. But you're talking about, like, the labels and the higher-ups and the people that bring people in. Uh, nah, they, they they care about music. It's both with that. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's money, but, like, ain't nobody going to invest no money into you. If they, if they, they all, make back. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of both when it comes to labels. Yeah, I mean, and then not only are you, like, really, your music career is taking off, but you're also a father, you know, to a daughter. Yeah. So how are you balancing fatherhood and your career at the same time? Uh, It'd be easy. I got help. I yeah? Help me. So oh, that's good. When I be doing stuff, busy like that, she be babysitting for me. What's your favorite memory, your favorite moment with your daughter? Uh, Watch her come out. Huh? A, oh, even though oh watching her come her, out? Like, it wasn't with her, but that's one of my favorite moments. Like, That's just her giving out. her life. Like, knowing that she's here on Earth. I love that. How old is she? Uh, Four months. 
four months. Yeah, that's that's a new baby. That's new. So I'm yeah, glad you have yeah. some help. Now, did you graduate from high school? Uh, nah. No. Uh, I'm fine too. You are. So you yeah. going back yeah. to get it? No, I'm on. I'm, oh, I go to you're school in online. school now. Yeah, I go online though. I just don't go in person. Wow. So what is that like? I mean, because you kind of like you can't live a regular life, you know, like. I know my senior yeah. year, I was going to all the senior stuff, senior skip days. You know, like I was in school every day. But I like, I wanted to finish school in yeah. person. I did, but but why not? Too much to do. It's too much. Okay, like traveling and yeah, I got a yeah. lot of stuff to do. I can't yeah. be waking up thinking about no assignment. <laughs> but when did you actually like get out of school? Like, was it this year? Freshman year. Oh, freshman year. You never really had a full high school experience. Wow. Now, do I you think that's elementary some... school? I was going to a high school that was like it was both. Yeah, it was K twelve one side, twelve uh, one side was the high school, it was one side was elementary. Mm -hmm. So it was, I guess that was like high school. Yeah, but it's the sacrifice that you make to get what you want. Yeah. So what's your ultimate goal with this? Where can you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, bigger than what I am now. Yeah. I need to be one. The dream co thing. dream collaborations. I don't got none. None. No features. You gonna drop an album with no features? Uh, uh, I mean, it's whoever want to get on it. I ain't really looking out. Like, I say, no, nah, I don't got no. No, no, that's insane. So you're not inspired by anybody. You don't like, like if I hey, pull up your Apple Music right now, there's no artist in your Apple Music that's just like consistent that you yeah. really listen to all the time. You? Yeah. I you really Rod fuck. Rod Wave. Yeah, okay. I fuck Rod. That pay music. Yeah, I fuck with. Him. Would you say you have you could relate a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what has been, like, your biggest challenge in life? Uh, myself. Like, just your mental? I be my own problem, yeah. Yeah. I be making myself tweak up. Really? Tweak like, what's me. what's an example? Like? Uh, my anger. I get mad. I got anger issues, so I be tweaking. Yeah. You get mad. Like, what's one thing that just make you mad where you look back and be like, why did I get mad at that? A lot of shit. A lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. A lot of just stupid, unnecessary shit. I don't got to be mad at. But you know, the first step is recognizing and knowing that. So yeah. now we got to figure out how to control I mean, that. <laughs> I think I'm better than what I used to be. But I kind of regret that I got to be in on house arrest. Yeah. I regret back. I was, I'm back mean. I'm trying to get back nice. Would you I'm say? a good job, I think. Would you say? And, and, I, and, I, and I feel like you have it in you because you're so like mild-mannered. But I also was always told, like, if somebody is quiet or laid back, you need to watch out for that person because there's so much inside that y'all bottle up. Yeah, you know, like that. something like that. <laughs> All right. So before we get out of here, we got to talk about you got a mixtape out, Reaper Ceremony. Yeah. A Reaper Ceremony. Why did you call, call it that? Like, what inspired uh, the name? Reapers is like a clan tag. Yeah. My guys. Mm -hmm. Something that we kind of brand. Like, I, uh, you were here fatting them talking about foxes. Mm hmm We talk about reapers. That's something that we kinda brand. And then the really the name just came out nowhere. I don't know. I think it came I was in jail when I created that. Really? Yeah. And I, you I had it down in jail and I was just like, I'm I ain't gonna forget. It sticks. It. Yeah. Right now it's peaking at what th number thirteen in hip hop and number ninety three in all genres of Apple. Like, how does that feel? Uh, it feels good. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Just you just like, yeah, I'm I'm here. You know, it's it's I mean, it's good. <laughs> I just don't be over hyper. Like I still yeah. be learning a lot of new stuff. So how do Not you show your excitement? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't for real. Like if really you're super excited. excited. I don't know. Nobody really see me over excited except for like my close homies. Yeah. They see me excited. I'm like yeah. the other person I'm excited. What has been the most exciting thing in your life? Uh A lot of stuff. I mean, I, it's good. That's a lot, though. Yeah. But nothing that particular. My daughter. That's your daughter. Yeah. I knew that's you were going to say that. That's different. I it's wasn't going to say it for you, but yeah, no, it yeah. is life changing. Yeah, I say my daughter. What's one thing that you want her to know before she leaves this earth? What's one thing you could teach her and if she could say, my daddy taught me that? Uh, help her get her education right because everybody like, don't pay attention in school. It's yeah. really about paying attention most of the times. Uh, really anything in life, for real, like everything that she needs. Mm -hmm. so like being is, she mm -hmm. want to chase a different career other than like the stuff that I'm that familiar you, with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
anything that anything she got her mouth on. Yeah. So I can't speak for her. Right. You can't. Yeah. And you and it's good that you're gonna allow her to have her own voice and not be that parent that's like forcing her to do something you want her to do. I ain't with that. Straight parent sneaky kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That is so true. Now, music videos are out. You got 3.2 million views on the Princeton Freestyle. You got 2.6 million views on Rilo Ride, and then 1.9 million views on Leaving. Man, what's next? Uh, a lot. I got a lot of stuff coming. I just be taking my time. People like leaking songs. That makes me wait. Oh Every time yeah. a new song get leaked, I push it a drop back like a month. But how in the world is a song getting leaked if it's in your, you have like a hard drive, right? Or Not necessarily. Like, I be on the move a lot, so mm -hmm. it be in my phone, but mm -hmm. I got to go get a hard drive so everything could be in it. Because mm -hmm. I lead some songs with producers and shit, so who knows what they actually doing with the song. Yeah. Like, you know, people get too excited. Well, I think you have a dope sound. I was able to actually look you up and um, just listen to your listen to your wave, and I feel like you're gonna do good. You know, just get out of your head and continue to move forward. Uh, tell everybody where they can hit you up, where they can stream your music, where they can contact you, so that you know they stay in touch. Find me on Instagram at yfg underscore fso eighty eight p. In my bio, you will see my manager at. Everybody <laughs> always asks me where is it at is in my bio, <laughs> just at my page if you look, and my YouTube. I know my stage name, YFG Fatso. Click the subscribe button if you get on there. <laughs> All right, well, we appreciate you. It's Maisha Simone Fatso. Hot at night. Hot 107.9. We out.